Now let's consider an example for B plus 3 insertion for this insertion sequence. Let the order of the non-leaf node M equals 3 and the order of the leaf node N equals 2. As we know in a B plus tree the order of the leaf node may be different from the order of the non-leaf node. Since M equals 3 the maximum number of keys that can be accommodated in a non-leaf node is M minus 1 2 and the order of leaf node is considered as the maximum number of key data pointer pairs that can be kept on the leaf node. Hence, if n equals 2, then the maximum number of keys that can be kept on the leaf node is also equals 2. In the beginning, the root node is the only node, hence the root node itself is the leaf node. Thus, we are inserting into the leaf node. First, the key 8 along with its data record pointer is inserted into this leaf node. Now, to insert the next key 5 along with its data record pointer, the key 5 should occupy a position before 8 because in a B plus tree in every node, all the keys are sorted. And this leaf node can keep a maximum of two keys along with their data pointer. In addition, a node pointer will be kept. In this case, the node pointer is null. This pointer will be pointing to the next leaf node. Now, if we try to insert a new key data pointer pair, then an overflow will occur since this node is full. To handle the overflow, we should consider all the entries of this node including the element we are trying to insert in their sorted order and find the mid entry. Then the key corresponding to this mid entry will be pushed to the parent level and this node will be split into two. Since there is no parent level we should add one level. There's a new level of parent is added and the key 5, just the key is pushed to the parent level and this node will be split into 2 and all the entries whose keys which are less than or equal to this key will occupy the left node and all the keys, all the entries with their keys greater than this value will occupy the right leaf node. So here in this example, we are always keeping more elements to the left than the right and such unequal conditions and this key will always be the maximum of the keys on the leaf node on the subtree which is pointed by this left pointer. Here moving to the subtree pointed by this left pointer and considering all the keys on the leaf node within that subtree, the maximum key is 5. The 5 will be the key which will, which will be acting as a guide for the search. If we are searching for a data record whose key is less than or equal to 5, we should proceed in this direction. Greater than 5, we should proceed in the right direction. And as we have discussed earlier, here the key is not associated with its corresponding data record pointer. Hence, we need one key here to act as a guide for the search. And all the keys along with their record pointer should be present on the leaf nodes. Now, three entries are over. The next one we should insert is 7. In a B plus tree, always the new elements are inserted to the leaf node. So to which leaf node the element 7 should be inserted? To find that, start from the root node, follow the search, 7 is greater than 5. Hence follow the right pointer and proceed to this right subtree. Hence it should be inserted, there is space in this leaf node. So we should insert 7 in this leaf node before 8. Insertion of 7 is over. Next we should insert 3. To find the leaf node to which 3 should be inserted, start from the root node. 3 is less than 5, so follow this pointer. We have reached this leaf node. Then 3 should be inserted between 1 and 5. But this leaf node can hold only two, maximum 2 key data pointer pairs. Thus there is no more space. This node is full. Hence an overflow will occur if we try to insert 3. 
Hence, we should split this node by considering all the entries of this node, including the new entry we are trying to insert in the sorted order, which will be the mid entry, it will be 3. Thus, the key corresponding to this mid entry should be pushed to the parent. So, 3 should occupy a position before 5, then this node should be split. Hence, the key 3 is pushed to the parent and it occupies a position before 5 and this knot will be split into 2 and the left leaf knot will be having all the entries whose keys less than and or equal to this value and the right leaf knot will be having all the entries whose keys greater than this value. And all the leaf nodes will be connected as a list since it is a B plus tree. Now if we, if we observe this we can see that the key 3 here is the maximum of the keys on the leaf nodes pointed by this pointer. Then the key 5 here is the maximum of the keys on the left subtree pointed by this pointer. Thus 8, 5, 1, 7, 3 are inserted. The next one we should insert is 12. To find the leaf node to which 12 should be inserted, start from the root node. 12 is greater than 5. Follow this pointer. Reach this leaf node. Thus 12 should be inserted after 8. There is no more space in this node. If we try to insert 12, an overflow will occur. Now to handle the overflow, consider all the entries in this node including the new entry we are trying to insert in their sorted order and find the mid entry. Then the key corresponding to this entry will be pushed to the parent and this node will be split into two. Now we can see that when this key is pushed to the parent at this parent level node an overflow will occur. This is a non-leaf node. The maximum number of keys that can be kept on this node is also two. So while eight is pushed from the lower level an overflow will occur on this node. Thus we should handle the overflow over this node too. So first of all handle the overflow at this leaf knot level. The key 8 will be pushed to the parent and this knot will be split into 2. All the entries whose keys are less than or equal to 8 will occupy the left leaf knot and all the entries whose keys are greater than 8 will occupy the right leaf knot. And now to handle the overflow on this non-leaf node, consider all the keys of this node including the new key we are trying to insert in their sorted order and find the mid key. The mid key will be pushed to the parent and this node will be split into two. Thus 5 is pushed to the parent level. We are adding one more level for the parent and all the keys which are strictly less than this key will occupy the left node and all the keys which are greater than this key occupy the right node. So unlike here we are not keeping the same key over the two places since we are dealing with the non-leaf nodes. So find the mid key, mid key is pushed to the parent and the node is split into two. To the left occupies three and to the right occupies eight. Now we can see that this key five is the maximum of the keys on the leaf nodes pointed by the pointer to this left subtree. If we observe the tree pointed by this left pointer, five is the maximum of the keys on the leaf node. Thus the left subtree contains all the keys and the keys with the data record pointers which are less than or equal to this value and the right subtree follows to the leaf nodes which contains the key record pointer pairs with keys greater than this value. So 12 is also inserted. Now to insert 9, 
start from the root not 9 is greater than 5 then 9 is greater than 8 so finally we reach this leaf node there is space in this leaf node so we can insert 9 along with its data record pointer in this leaf node before 12 so 9 is over now to insert 6 start from the root node 6 greater than 5 less than 8 so proceed to this leaf node there is no space in this leaf node 6 should occupy a position before 7 hence an overflow will occur if we try to insert 6 thus to handle the overflow consider all the entries in the sorted order 6 7 8 find the mid key mid key is 7 7 should move to the parent and should occupy before 8 and this node will be split into two. Six and seven will occupy the left node and eight will occupy the right node. Seven is pushed to the parent. All the entries whose values are keys are less than or equal to seven occupy the left node. And all the entries whose keys greater than seven occupy the right node. Now we can see the key seven is the maximum of the keys on the leaf node pointed by this left subtree. And the key 8 is the maximum of the keys on the leaf nodes pointed by this left subtree. So this is the final B plus tree with this insertion sequence and this given order.